Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a half hexagon. I featured this solid hexagon on my channel not so long ago and lots of you have been asking how to fill in the edges. So today I'm going to show you how to make this. So what you're going to need is whichever yarn you use for your solid hexagons and also whichever crochet hook you use. I'm using Starcraft Baby DK and a 5mm crochet hook. I shall leave all the information in the description box below but without further ado let's get started. So first of all you want to make your slip knot and you can make this in whichever way you prefer to do it. Insert your hook and pull your yarn onto your hook. You then want to start off by chaining four, so one, two, three and four and you're going to insert your hook into the first chain that you made. Yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook to make a slip stitch. So you've just made your circle. You're then going to start off by chaining three, one, two and three. And this bit is actually going to be one of the uh, bottom pieces or one of the straight edge pieces. So you want to start off by doing a treble crochet into the very same centre circle. Remember that I am talking in UK terms, so that stitch is a treble in the UK. In the US that is known as a double crochet. So the chain three is, is classing as a treble. You then have another treble here. And what we're going to do is chain two like you did previously for your um, corners. You're then going to do two more trebles into that same centre circle. So that's one and two. And you're going to chain two again. So one, two. We're then going to do two more trebles into the same circle. that's one and then one more and that's two so that is half of your hexagon if I just grab this other one here we've just done this very um, first round just there then what we're going to do is chain three so one two and three and we are going to turn our work. Now obviously normally with a hexagon we just keep working round um, with the right side facing us. But for this we are going to have to turn our work. So we've got a chain three. This is classing as our first treble. And then what we're going to do is do a treble into the top of the next stitch. So not into the base of this one, into the top of the next one. So it's yarn over. Insert your hook just here. As you insert, you should see that V. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And just like we did with the hexagon, we're going to yarn over and then insert our hook into this space here and do your treble. So now technically we have three trebles. We shall now chain two, so one, two, and then do another treble into this very same space. So just one treble here. Now what we're going to do is do a treble into the top of the next two stitches. So one and two. So yarn over, insert your hook into the top of the next stitch and do your treble and then once more into the top of the next stitch and do your treble. We'll then do a treble into the chain two space like so. Chain two for the corner and do another treble into the chain two space. We then have two trebles left, so we're going to do a treble into the top of the next stitch. And then a treble into the top of this stitch here. Now this will look slightly different because this was a chain three from the original round. So you want to count up three stitches and insert your hook into the third chain from the bottom. 
So yarn over, insert. Sometimes this can be a bit difficult, so you just have to maybe give it a bit of a wiggle and then do your treble. So that is the second round. What we're then going to do is chain three again. One, two, three. Turn your work and then this time we're actually going to do another treble into the base of this stitch. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook right into the bottom here and do another treble. This helps keep this um, bottom edge flat and it will stop it from curling up. We're then going to do another two trebles into the top of the next two stitches. So one each into the next of these two stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. And then yarn over again and insert your hook into the next stitch. You're going to do a treble into the chain two space, chain two for the corner, and do another treble into that chain two space. You're then going to do a treble into the top of the next four stitches. So one. Two, three, and four. You're going to do a treble into the chain two space, chain two and do another treble into that chain two space. We are then left with two trebles and a chain three. We're going to do a treble into the top of the next two spaces. So that's one and two. And then we are going to do two trebles into this the top of the chain three. So again, you might have to just pull it apart slightly in order to find the correct space for um, putting in your stitch. But you want to work three chains from the bottom. So we'll do our first treble. And then our second treble. Then what you want to do is chain one, grab your scissors, snip off the yarn, and then pull that out and pull nice and tight. And there you have your half hexagon. So I shall show you how to um, attach this to your work now. You're just going to need some of the same color thread. So when you first come to put this next to your blanket, you're going to feel like it doesn't quite fit, but Trust me, it will. What you want to do is just line it, the flat edge up with this section here and you'll feel like it doesn't quite get to the very corner here. But we're actually going to start by attaching those two together and you'll notice that it does, it does fit in perfectly fine. So I'm going to flip my work over. A lot of people asked last time how you can tell the difference between the front and the back. Well, the front is more ridged and the back is much flatter. So if I just show you here, you can see this is flat, whereas this has got more of a ridge to it. So I'm gonna turn it over, turn this piece over, and then I shall show you how to connect. So I have threaded my needle, and what I'm going to do is take this hexagon here, and if you think about when we do a corner, we chain two. I'm going to insert my needle um, just into that corner section right in the middle and then I'm going to take my um, half hexi and I'm going to insert my needle at the end of this chain three. Pull those two together and I'm going to tighten that up and then just tie a knot in that section there just to connect them. 
and you're simply going to connect these in exactly the same way as what you have your other hexagons um, so you just want to sew them together making sure that the corners are aligning correctly once you get to the end so corner to corner and then you can just knot off your end and sew it into the work and cut off the excess. You can then sew in each of the ends to tidy up. So that is your half hexagon tutorial. I really hope it helped you. If you liked the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Tag me on Instagram or Twitter using hashtag BellaCocoCrochet so I can see all of your creations. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!